ex-governor Terry McCall. With Election Day now less than 48 hours away, on Sunday, Terry McAuliffe made a final push for support in Manassas. I need a big lead. I need it on Election Day. That's what we need. So, The race for Virginia governor now a dead heat in the polls. And on Monday, the election will get even more attention when President Donald Trump joins a tele-rally for Republican challenger Glenn Youngkin. Details remain very secret, but on Sunday, WSA 9 spoke over the phone with organizer John Fredericks, a talk radio host and Trump's Virginia campaign chairman in 2016 and 2020. Fredericks told us, quote, things change by the minute and an exact time for the event remained unknown. The event has put Yunkin in an awkward spot, embrace the former president or distance himself. During a stop in Alexandria this weekend, Yunkin made it clear he will not participate in the Teller rally. I haven't been involved in that. My, I'm, the teams are talking. I'm, I'm not going to be engaged in the Teller Town Hall, but we have more people helping us than you can possibly believe. This is about unity. The Teller rally comes after a busy weekend for early voting around the state. Lines like this one in Alexandria formed at polling sites with around 20% turnout reported in areas like like Fairfax County and Loudoun County. As the former president now gets set to get involved in the governor's race, WSA 9 spoke to his niece, Mary Trump, on Sunday, who has openly voiced support for Terry McAuliffe. It's just yet another example of Donald's uh, need to insert himself. He's positioning himself to take credit for Yunkin if the worst case scenario happens and Yunkin wins so that he can then maintain his grip on the party. A race now in its final stretch with both sides hoping for a win on Tuesday. Nobody take their feet off the gas. Let's keep this going. Tom Dempsey, WUSA 9.